I'm calling in regards to my 96-year-old mother who was... God bless her. She's 96? Yes. What an awesome age. Living very independently in a retirement wow. home. Good for her. But unfortunately, um, a month ago, the apartment above her, which was not used as an apartment, was used as a storage room in the facility. Somebody put a bed frame against the thermostat, busted the thermostat, made the room get to 140 degrees, Ooh. set the sprinkler systems off, which completely destroyed only her apartment and, of course, the apartment that it happened in. So they had to get her out of there. They put her into another room. And within three days, she fell out of that bed because it was too high. Now she's in a wheelchair, going through therapy, had to have surgery. Did and she break her hip? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so um, but she was in... Saying, I mean, I, the, the hospital, the administrator of the retirement keeps telling me, we'll work with you, but she won't give me definite. All I want is my mom to have assistant living care. Not, a, not And I don't think we should pay for it because it wasn't her fault. Pay for what? The assistant living, like extra health care. So, you know, this, like yeah, yeah, I understand. Bath, helps with her uh, getting dressed. Yeah. So, listen, I, I think that um, she may have a good case under the Nursing Home Act, even though she, she was in assisted living, right? No, she was in an independent living a retirement community. Okay, and they moved her because they destroyed her apartment? Correct. To another room. Mm hmm. And by moving her to another room, she was not in her own bed that we had a low bed. Yep. They put her into a bed that was high, and she fell off, broke her hip. You know, I think she had surgery. <laughs> yeah, I think she's got a good case, and because she's got because she's got a, a case, um, what that means is until you get a judgment or a settlement or a verdict uh, on her behalf, um, they're not going to pay anything. They're going to just continue to expect your mother and you to pay for her room and board, et cetera, and, and for the additional assisted living. Um, I, I think you need to get in touch with uh, somebody that handles nursing home uh, lawsuits. Of course, you could call us if you like, but you know there's a million great lawyers out there um, that uh, that could handle this case, uh, and, and that's really where you're at. Uh, I don't think they're going to do anything voluntarily. The only thing they voluntarily said they would do is that they would make us pay her independent living rate of 2400 a month, but they would take care of only one month of any additional help. So that right there is an admission of responsibility. That's what you call uh, consciousness of guilt. And so uh, my guess is at 96, although your mother spry and living, was living independently, with a broken yes. hip, that's going to slow her down just a tiny bit. Oh, it has already. She's very depressed now. We see her going down. Yep. So, uh, listen, if you want to get in touch with us, we'll be happy to uh, sit down and meet with you. Uh, if you want a recommendation to a different lawyer, just call us and we'll, we'll help you out with that. Like I said, there's a million different lawyers out there that can handle it. You, you've got to be careful about who you choose. You've got to make sure that they understand what they're doing and that they really care about this, uh, like we will. Um, but uh, just give us a call on uh, on Monday and we'll get same you in. Number? Yeah, same number, 855-LAW-SHOW. And ask for Jessica. And Jessica will uh, do an initial intake for you, okay? Thank you. All right. Thanks for calling the law show. We're